Hi guys, I'm Charlie. So we're gonna make you start in seated position. So if you need any bolsters or pillows or blocks, then just grabbing them ready and maybe just putting them to one side. If you could grab your block or a pillow just to start, start in a more lifted, comfortable position. And then just place the hands into your lap or onto your knees. So just taking a moment to close the eyes down, soften your gaze. Start to scan through the body from the crown of your head all the way down to the tips of your toes. Just scanning for any tightness, any thing or any space that you need to be aware of today. And just noticing and accepting anything that arises here. So when you feel ready, just exhaling all of your breath and then taking a deep breath in through your nose, expanding to the belly, holding it at the top, just slowly exhale it through the mouth. Now just continue to breathe in and out of your nostrils. And just feeling the body rise and fall away from the spine. Start to notice if you can deepen your breath here. As you start to take a deeper breath in, maybe notice the chest lifting as well as the belly, feel the rib cage expand. And as you exhale, just feel everything pull back towards the spine. Take another very deep breath in. And exhale. Just drawing everything back towards the spine. Feeling that rise and fall of the body, staying within that present moment. And your next breath out, slowly just begin to blink the eyes open. Keep with that length through the spine, soften the shoulders more if you can. And then on your next breath out, we're just slowly coming off our bolster or our block or our pillow or a book, whatever you may be on. And then just taking the hands out in front, slowly release your chin into your chest. Start to feel the head, the neck, everything heavy. Now you might not be as low as I am, and if you are not, then keep the arms straight and keep just feeling this lovely stretch through the back of your neck, so rounding through the upper back. Take a full breath in. And as you breathe out, just walking the hands to the right side. You just start to feel the stretch through your left side. 
If it feels good here, walk the hands a little further away if it's accessible for you today. Forehead can rest towards your knees. Find that breath. And breathe deeply here. Placing the right hand beside your right hip, bending the right elbow. Slowly inhale and lift your left arm towards the sky, just feeling this stretch through from your left sit bone to your left fingertips. Draw that left shoulder down the back, try and find that space in your neck. Take another deep breath in. And as you exhale, release the left arm back down. And just walk your hands all the way now to the left side. Find that length through your right side. Feel the stretch from your right sit bone, or rather your right hip. Take a full breath in. And as you breathe out, maybe you're resting the forehead onto the knee if it reaches, if it's available. If it's not and you're further back, chin into chest as long as the stretch feels good on the back of the neck, then please go for that. Just listen to your body today. Just do what feels good. Find the breath. Then slowly walking the left hand just beside your left hip now. Slowly inhale, lift the right arm to the sky. Take another full breath in here. As you exhale, soften the right shoulder, maybe gaze towards the right arm. Soften the space between the shoulders and around the neck. Take another deep breath in. And as you exhale, slowly releasing your hands back down and walking both hands back to center. Chin into chest, head if heavy. Slowly walking the hands back in. Inhale and lift the chest. Take a deep breath and lift both arms. Interlace the fingers. As you inhale, lift the chest open. As you exhale, round through the belly, draw the spine to the back of your mat, belly into the spine, chin into the chest, fingertips come forward. Inhale, lift it back up. Open your chest, find that space. Exhale, rounding it through, chin into the chest, fingertips come forward. One last time, inhale, opening up. Exhale, releasing back down. Lifting back up to the sky, inhale. Release the right hand next to your right hip, walk your right fingertips away. And then just slowly feel that stretch through the left side of your body once again. Take a full breath in. And as you exhale, release the left hand to your right knee, right hand behind you, take your twist, open up. Releasing the right ear to the right shoulder, just feel that stretch through the left side of the neck. I'm not going too deep here, just breathing into it. Notice how your spine feels, your body, your anatomy. Exhale, coming back to centre, go the other way. Right fingertips to the left knee, left hand behind you, inhale. Find that length, exhale, twist. Softening this right shoulder. Maybe it feels comfortable to let the left ear fall to the left shoulder, just feeling that stretch through your right hip. Releasing the head back on top of the spine when you're ready. Exhale, walk the left fingertips away. And inhale the right arm high to the sky. Feel the stretch through your right side. Soften the shoulder away from your ear. Sink into the left shoulder, elbow rather, if that feels good. Keep sending your right sit bone down. And exhale, coming back up. Slowly, just changing the cross of your legs for a moment. 
Take an inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, pulling or rounding through, coming all the way towards the mat. Just notice how it feels when you're lagging front. So this is my left, might be your right. Breathe into the hip. And exhale, walking it back in. Slowly releasing your hands behind you. Just taking the knees up. Slowly take a windscreen wiper from right to left. And just let both knees fall to either side. They may not land just nice one. So I edge forwards every time I do this. You may be the same. So just edging yourself back. And then this time, placing just your left knee to the floor, lifting the right knee. Keep flexing the foot. And then go the other way, right knee towards your left foot, but left knee to the sky. Keep flexing the right foot. Take two more. Just feeling that internal rotation of the singular femur in hip, rather than both. Last one, right knee to your left ankle. Lift the left knee to the sky. Come all the way back up. Walk your hands back in and just take a hug of the knees. Chin into chest. Release the neck. So take a few breaths here, just having a hug. And feel quite nice. And then slowly lifting your chest. Take a deep breath and lift the arms. And as you exhale, just slowly pressing into the feet, lower the spine, vertebra by vertebra. Shoulders, neck, and head comes last. Walking the feet in. Just release the lower back a little, or uh, rather the shoulders, the upper back. Just giving some space here. And then take another windscreen wiper of the legs, just for a bit more heat in the legs, in the hips. Bring both knees in. And just up a circle both kneecaps with the arms, as if you were drawing a circle. Notice if there's any clicks, tight spots. Go the other way. Awesome, then lift both feet to the sky. Flex the toes. Release the hands, just resting into the mat. You're not pressing the hands down here. Press your sacrum, your tailbone into the mat. Squeeze the belly in. The legs may begin to shake, and if they do, just feel that energy, that prana building. And then slowly release your knees back in. Give the knees a hug. Rock from right to left. Lovely. Then release those feet out in front. Just tuck in with the tail. So I'll probably just edit that bit out. So starting from here. So tucking the tail and the chin into chest. Soften the chest. So taking a deep breath in, and just start to hover your right leg up. Keep pressing the belly into the mat, the sacrum into the mat. Start to breathe here. Try not to lift your shoulders. As you exhale, lift the left leg up as well. Keep pressing the sacrum down. My whole body starts to 
shake here. Release the right and keep the left leg lifted. Keep pressing the belly and the sacrum to the mat. Exhale, right back up. Left down. Left back up. Right down. Squeeze the left. And release. Leaving the left leg on the mat. Just bring, it, bring your right knee into the chest and squeeze your right knee in without the help of your hands here. Use your muscles and just give the leg a few pulses towards the face. Start to take circles with the knee up to the right side and then coming back in. And then if you like, you could extend the right foot all the way to the bottom of the mat. Draw your right knee back in. Turning your foot, send it to the top of your mat. Turn the foot to point to the sky. Draw your knee back in. Send your foot wide. Just notice what you're feeling in your hip if there's clicking. I feel like this popping thing going on. Who knows if that feel is good or bad. It does not hurt. So just working through that. I don't know if the camera can hear that. Take two more. If you're in pain or it's too much, we're not going as far. Just finding your different path for your body. Squeeze the right knee in. Send your right foot to the sky. Flex the foot. Just start to pulse the leg towards the face. Take another full breath in. Exhale, release the knee down. Send your right foot to the bottom of your mat. Straighten the leg, hover the heel up. Send the foot to the sky, lift it. Send it all the way back down. Squeeze your knee in. Press the foot away. Lift your toes towards the sky, towards your face. Release all the way back down. Squeeze your knee in. Press the heel away. Lift your foot to the sky. Send it down. Squeeze the knee in. Just start to take circles with your right ankle now. Feel the click. Feel it rather. <laughs> then take the circle the other way. For me, the opposite way always feels very strange. And then drawing your left foot into the um, into the ground, knee is high. Send your right foot back up to the sky for a moment. Flex your toes towards your face. You may have a subtle bend in the knee. And if you do, that's great, that's fine. Take a deep breath in, find your breath. And as you exhale, pulse the foot once more towards your face. Notice if it feels any different with this left leg lifted now from the mat. Feel that heat, that fire building in the leg. And slowly release the right foot now to your left knee. Make sure you're flexing your right foot, sending your knee wide. Take a deep breath in. As you breathe out, maybe you place your right hand to your right thigh. If it feels good here, send the knee further away. Keep flexing the toes and the right ankle just to protect your right knee. Take another deep breath in here. As you exhale, release both arms to cactus, squeeze the shoulder blades down. If this feels too much, release both arms long. Take a full breath in, and as you breathe out, come onto your left hip toes. Squeeze your left knee towards the chest. Notice how this feels in your right hip and the right knee. Keep sending the knee wide. Release. Full breath in, fill the belly. As you breathe out, squeeze the knee in. 
take one more. Release the foot back down. Full breath in, expand into the belly. And exhale, squeeze the knee towards the chest. Letting your right knee just fall to that right side, feeling the stretch through your right hip. Take one more breath. Maybe you want to interlace the hands now underneath your left thigh and send your left foot to the sky. Again, these are just options. You do not have to go further. You can always go back a step. Try not to lift the shoulders, the neck. Great tension here. Try to be soft. Let it all go. And exhale, slowly release your right foot to the sky. And just start to take circles with the ankle. Both ankles down one way and then the other. And turning them both the same way and then the other. Whatever feels good. Now just start to feel how good that right leg feels compared to your left. Notice how it feels to have all that energy running through the whole body. And then slowly releasing your right foot down and then your left. Let the right leg go long and the left leg go long. If you want to have a moment of shaking out the hips for a minute, you could. And then coming into the other side. Checking in, just drawing your tailbone to the mat. Take a deep breath in and just start to hover your left foot up. Squeeze your knee in. Send your foot to the sky. And pulse the foot towards your face for a moment. Feel the fire, the energy start to build in the leg. Take a deep breath in. And a long breath out. Find your stillness. Release the knee back in. Give it a squeeze. Flex the foot. Sending your left heel to the bottom of the mat. Hover the foot up. Lift your foot to the sky. Squeeze the foot back down. Bring the knee in. Send your heel away. Inhale, lift the leg to the sky. Exhale, release it back down. Squeeze the knee in. Inhale. Exhale, send your heel away. Inhale, lift the foot to the sky. Exhale, release the foot all the way back down. Inhale, draw the knee in. Give the knee a squeeze and just start to circle your left ankle. Notice how that feels. And then drawing your right knee in. Place your right foot down. Inhale, the left leg to the sky. And then just pulsing the left leg towards your face. Notice how it feels for the left leg to... Work the hamstring. How does it feel compared to the other side? And then slowly release your left foot onto your right knee. Flex your toes here. Take a deep breath in. Sending your left knee away from your body. Feel the stretch through your left foot. Flex your left toes. Take a deep breath in. As you breathe out, come onto your right tiptoes. Start to just squeeze the right knee towards your torso while letting your left knee just go wide here, feeling the stretch still through the left hip. Remember the purpose of this pose, hip opening. As you breathe out, maybe send your right foot to the sky if that feels good. And you could pulse here. If that's too much, release the foot down. And slowly release the knee towards the torso. Take another pulse. Squeeze the left heel. Squeeze
Release your left knee away. And then if it feels good, then coming back into the straight leg for a moment, maybe interlacing the hands. If this is too much, come back. Soft on both shoulders. Take another deep breath in. Long breath out. As you exhale, release both hands down. Release your foot towards the sky. And just start to circle the ankles one way and then the other. And then both together. It's a bit complicated here. Then just lifting the feet to the sky. Release the knees into the chest, give the knees a squeeze, have a rock from right to left. Knees can go wide, you can interlace the hands above the belly if you like. And then it's an option to lift the feet to the sky, maybe holding the feet or the back of the thighs. Just going where it feels good for you, not where... I told you to go, maybe. Releasing both feet down, hip distance apart, making sure you can just tickle the back of the heels. Squeeze the knees as if there was a block or a ball put toward, uh, in between them. So as there's some resistance there. You're not going to squeeze so they can touch. Take a full breath in. And as you breathe out, pressing into all four corners of your feet, start to lift your tailbone off the mat, driving the hips towards the sky. Lift your lower back, mid back, upper back. Once you've got this far, maybe it feels comfortable to grab your block. And just placing your block underneath the sacrum. This is option one. So this can be quite nice. If you feel really nice here and you want to go a little more than grabbing, rather placing the block to an higher position. Stay active here though. Press into the feet. Squeeze the knees as if there's resistance. Open the chest, the shoulders. And take a few breaths here. Pressing into the feet, slowly lifting yourself all the way off the block. Lowering yourself all the way down, vertebra by vertebra. Letting your tailbone slowly just hit the mat. Once you get there, squeeze the knees back in wide. Rock it from right to left. Placing the feet down. So we're just going to roll over to our right side when you feel ready. So rolling over, walking yourself all the way back up. So we're going to bring our left foot um, in front and then the right knee to your left foot. So you're set probably towards the corner of your mat. Just take a deep breath here, draw your hands to your heart center. Close the eyes for a moment. And take a moment just to find that lift through the crown, lift through the, the whole spine. Sinking into your left hip now, opening your gaze. Think of 
if you can hear that on the video, we have some neighbours, some nature neighbours outside. So sinking into the left hip, slowly picking up your right knee. Take a breath in here. As you exhale, draw the right foot all the way in front, trapping your left knee. Maybe you don't quite get that, but you're aiming for it. Exhale, send your right leg all the way back. Lean forward. Exhale, come all the way back up. Tuck the knee and sending it all the way back. Leaning forward. Inhale, lift the foot, hovering all the way to tap your left knee. Exhale, inhale, all the way back. Lean over. Inhale, come up. Last one. Tapping the knee. Exhale, all the way back. This time, sending the right leg behind you. Place the hands down. And then slowly just sending your knee out to the side. So we're coming into pigeon. So most of us have done this before in class or in other people's classes. So you just want to have some awareness now in the foot behind you. So you're pressing into the right foot to really draw the femur back into the hip. So you're feeling that activation here. If you're feeling good on your left side, take a deep breath in and then find yourself melting towards the mat if that feels good today. Otherwise, placing your block let me just grab my block. Underneath your left hip. And then maybe just finding this length to begin. Take a few breaths here. Maybe using your breath, you just find some more space to fall into. And again, staying active in this right leg now, pressing into the foot. Feel the hip, the leg moving into the hip socket. So for me, I like to walk my arms all the way up. Think about sending your breath to the areas that are of discomfort. And then maybe it feels good to start to walk your hands to the right side of your mat. And just feel that stretch from your left hip all the way to your left fingers. Feel the belly rise and fall off the thigh, off the calf. Slowly walking it back to centre. And then taking a twist, walk the right fingertips to the top of your mat. This is an option, you don't have to go further. And walking the hand and uh, the left hand underneath the right armpit. Just twisting to the right side, sending again the right hip down here. Activate into the leg. If this is too much, just have the hands back out in front. Exhale and walk your right hand underneath the elbow to unravel the left of the knee. And then just drawing your right foot, uh, right knee to the left foot, once again, lifting your chest. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale, walking your hands out over the left knee. Just fold the chest over the left thigh. Let the forehead be soft. The crown be soft. And then notice how it feels to squeeze your right hip down, your right sit bone, towards the mat. Maybe feeling it more to the left quad, or the hamstring, or the foot. Use the exhale to find your way back up. And then drawing the hands back to the heart center, press through both feet now to lift your knees and then go all the way to the other side. Right knee is now in front and left knee is now into your right foot. Hands to your heart center, lift your chest. Take a deep breath in. 
Sinking into the right hip, hover your left knee up. As you um, inhale, draw the left foot to tap your right knee. And exhale, taking it behind you. Lean over the right side. Inhale, coming back up, tapping the heel against your knee. Exhale, take it back. Lean over. Inhale, forwards. Exhale, back. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Now just placing the knee down to begin. Inhale and lift your chest. Exhale, walk the hands over the right knee. Just taking this twist, uh, this stretch through the side body. As you exhale, squeeze your left sit bone towards the mat. Notice how it feels here, through the right quad, the right leg, the hip. And then exhale, walk yourself back up, bringing both hands to frame your right knee to begin, and then swooshing your left leg behind you. So if you can't get it there, that's not a problem. Bring both hands to in front. Give yourself a bit of room to wiggle. Make those adjustments to get your knee out to the right side. Make sure this left leg is active. You're pressing into the left back of the foot to draw the femur into the hip socket. Take your inhale, lift your chest. Maybe you want to place a block or a pillow under the right hip or the right thigh. More than welcome. Full breath in. As you breathe out, walk those hands out, releasing the elbows down, forehead to the mat if it reaches. Maybe you're working with your breath to find your path into it. Breathe deeply here. Find that space. Option now to walk the hands to the left side if this feels good. Keep pressing the right hip down. Working the left leg. Exhale to walk it back to center. And as you do, reach this left arm to the top of the mat and thread your right hamstring. Right ear to the mat, left fingertips to the top. Draw the left shoulder down the back and away from your ear. How much space can you create here? Squeeze the bottom shoulder down and the top shoulder open. If this doesn't feel good, just coming back into the normal pigeon. Breathe wherever you are. Find that breath. Slowly walk the left elbow, hand back underneath the left elbow, unravel the right arm. Drawing the left knee to your right foot, hands to your heart center. Pressing into the sit bones, the hips, slowly lift your knees to the sky and go all the way back to the other side. And then we'll take two more, just seeing how the hips feel. Keep lifting the arms and the chest. Maybe just remove them out of the way if they're getting caught by the knees. And then when you're ready, just ending, facing the front of your mat. Placing the hands behind you, feet out in front. Take a deep breath in here. And just going as far as you like now, squeeze your shoulders together, press into the feet, activate the muscles in the legs. And as you exhale, 
Coming into reverse tabletop, lift the hips towards the sky. The option is there for you to release the head if you want to, as long as it's comfortable for you. Keep pressing through the, through the feet, lift the legs and the hips a little more. And exhale, release down. Take an inhale, lift the arms, lift the chest. And then exhale, squeeze the belly button in, fall all the way down into your mat. Bring both arms to cactus. Crossing your right knee over, over your left. Squeeze the knees in. Take a full breath. And as you breathe out, send the knees to the right. And your gaze to the left. Squeeze the left shoulder down. Full breath in. Full breath out. Exhale, coming back to centre, changing the cross of the legs, taking the legs to the left side while you gaze to the right. Feel it this one too. And the morning is here. Sunshine in my morning. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Notice where you feel it. Now for me, I feel it across the chest a lot as I squeeze my shoulder down. But that might just be me. Exhale, coming back to centre. Give the knees a squeeze, this in crossing the legs, chin into the chest. And slowly releasing your feet down. Releasing the palms to face up. Chin into chest, coming into our Shavasana. Corpse pose. Now if you're comfortable to just keep the eyes closed. Start to soften your facial features. And then with me, just inhaling to the count of five, four, three, two, one. Exhale to the count of five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, five, four, Three, two, one. Exhale, five, four, three, two, and one. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Just letting that breath just into its unique natural rhythm. Taking your awareness to a thought. Bringing it into your mind, the thought that brings you most joy. It could be your children. It could be your pets, your dogs, your cats. a moment. Just bringing the sensation to surface. Letting this joy just take over all of your muscles of the face and just let your smile beam out. <laughs> 